And then the next one here we will introduce is a electronic clock meter. It is usually known as called clock meter, and it is for testing the color fastness to rubbing. A lot of us might be familiar with this machine, but in our machine we also made a lot of innovation, and we also have patent for this too. So. The sample can be clamped very easily. Uh, it can also automatically adjust to different thickness of the samples because we have used spring-loaded pins to clamp the sample. So if your sample is thin or very thick, the machine cannot do them all. And we also have a sliding plate here. This is for doing the wet and the dry rubbing on one sample without uh, needing to cut two specimens. This is for loading the samples. You just hold the side, two sides of one side of the, the specimen, put it inside, and then rotate the knob here. If your sample is elastic, you can also pull on the front side of the specimen to stretch it out. Or you, if your sample is not elastic, you can just rub it gently to flatten the sample. And then this is our patented push-to-lock clamping system. It is very easy to lock the specimen in place. And then you can start the test. It's very, also very easy to unlock, unlock the specimen. Just pull gently and it will come off. And then the unloading of the sample is also very easy. We provide an un, undestructive test for the specimen. If you have a large specimen, you don't need to cut it anymore. So even very large specimen can be put in directly without needing to cut the side and then the length direction. We can also do non-destructive tests on specimens like a sleeve or trousers. The underside of the specimen holder is hollow and then the top side is also empty on both sides. So you can put it, the specimen in like this. Just slide it in gently. You see, the, this loop, loop styled specimen can also be tested without needing to cut it open. And then you can clamp the specimen in. So it is very easy to use and then you will not, you don't need to destroy the specimen for this test. You can then use the specimen to do other tests without needing to require any new specimens. So for the change of the, the white cloth here, you just lift the, the handle up and then reach down to this spring. Squeeze it gently and then the cloth will come out. Then you just need to put on the new cloth. Say this is a new cloth. Put it on, hold it gently by your hand, fingers and then squeeze this little spring.
and now you have a new clause on the test head. You can do a new test like this. It's just a matter of seconds to change it.